Want to add print-on-demand products to your Shopify store? Then this video is for you. Super quick intro for what print-on-demand actually is, often called POD by the way. You take your original artwork or design, upload it to a print-on-demand platform, select a product that you want it printed on, and then you can sell that product in your Shopify store. When someone buys the product on your Shopify store, the print-on-demand platform will actually print and ship that product. So you do not have to hold inventory or ship these products yourself. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a print-on-demand product and make it available for sale in your Shopify store. I'm Shelly, and I own an e-commerce design studio called Launch Party. I'm also the creator of Shop School, which is an online program that teaches how to build, launch, and optimize your own Shopify site. And I have my own print-on-demand store. It's a t-shirt business called Wildly Bright that I co-own with my kids. So now let's walk through adding a new print-on-demand product and then making it available for sale in your Shopify store. I'm going to use Printful, which is a print-on-demand platform, and it's the same one that I use for my store, Wildly Bright. So we're starting in our Shopify store. This is my development store that I use for YouTube tutorials and such called Shop Fundamentals. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the print-on-demand app. So I'm going to add the Printful app here. So clicking apps over here on the left, I don't have it yet installed, so I'm going to search for Printful and clicking this will bring me to the Shopify app store. And here it is, the first one right here. You can see there's lots of other different print on demand options. So make sure you check out different options too, because they'll all have different products and pricing and so forth. So clicking this, going to click add app to install it to the store. And then I need to click install app over here on the right. And it brought me straight to Printful. So I created an account already in Printful for this purpose. And if you do not have your account yet, you will need to do that step first, and then it will bring you here. So it's helpful to check and make sure your Shopify store is connected. So I'm gonna click settings over here on the right. And under stores, I can see I have my Shopify store, shop fun fundamentals, and it is all in here correctly. So that is because we added it from the app. The next step is to choose a product that we want to print our artwork on. So coming over to the product catalog, we can see that Printful has a lot of options. And for this, I'm going to do a hat. So let's look at our hat options here. So we can sort by technique here if we want embroidery or cut and sew. Okay, so I like this vintage cap here. And you, in this area, you can see, okay, we have all of these different color options as well. So you can decide to have your product available in all of the color options or one or two, however many you want. And you can see there's no size options or just one size fits all, the price, as well as the estimated shipping time and the cost of the shipping, which you'll either have to pay yourself or build into your pricing and the cost of the shipping, which you'll either have to have the customer pay for the shipping or build it into your pricing or pay it yourself, depending on how you wanna structure your pricing for print on demand products. Okay, so scrolling down here, I can see, I can create a product template right here and that's what we need to do first for Printful. So create product template. So I don't wanna do, I don't wanna do the red color, I'm just going to have navy. I like that color better for this example. And now we need to drop our design in here. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to upload a new file. So for this, I'm using an icon. I'm going to click apply. And let's see how it looks. So in black, we can't really see it. So I uploaded a black icon, but I can actually change the color to any of these available options. So let's see how it looks with white. And we can adjust the size a little bit. So if we make it a little bit bigger, we can't go this big, but we can, if we want the design to fit. Although actually I think that looks pretty cute that way too. Um, but I'm going to make it like this. So a little bit bigger. And then it will give a little bit more of a realistic preview after you wait a second. So that looks a, a little bit more realistic. 
Okay, and then we have other options here. So we can add stuff to the back. So I'm going to upload another icon for the back. And I use these icons in a Shopify tutorial a few YouTube videos ago. Okay, so let's see if we like having these sparkles in the back. I think probably not. It's looking a little bit weird to me. So I'm gonna just leave that off. We have options for the left side. That would be a good place to put a logo and the right side. So they don't seem to give us a little preview, but let's just see if we add the sparkles onto the side, if we like that. So it just shows us it's gonna be like right here. I wish it had a better preview of that, but in the mock-up files, we should see that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that on the side because I think that has the potential to be cute. Oh, we can see it did add 295 to do that. So you have to consider if that's worth it or not for your product to have that much more added to the base price. Okay, so we've got that added there and next I'm gonna click continue. So we can see here's our hat. So I do suggest renaming your template, your product template to something that will make sense to you. Smile icon, vintage cotton hat. Okay, and our colors here are white and white. Okay, so I'm gonna save this product template. And now I'm in the product template section of Printful. So here's the one that we just added. So now is when I can choose to add this product to my Shopify store. So I'm going to click add to store and then we need to fill in some details. So, yep, I only want the Navy available. Proceed to mockups. I usually go with the basic mockups. So choose mockups here. And we have some options. So we have our just standard product right here on white. And we can now we can see the side little icons over here. Um, and then we have different models that we can see it on. So there's the hat. On that one, my icon's like weirdly off to the side. So that one actually didn't work that well. This one, it's a little bit better. In some lifestyle type images. So next we need to choose if we want the mock-up in JPEG or ping. I usually go with JPEG and proceed to details. So here's where when it uploads to our store, this information is going to go on there. You can still edit it when it's on your store. So I just tend to make sure I have my title in there. So I'm going to call this the smile vintage hat. And then this description they give us, and I strongly suggest that you update this description, but I tend to like to do that in Shopify. It's totally up to you though. You can rewrite it right here, but I like to just have this as my starting point in Shopify. And you can choose if you wanna add this on-demand manufacturing notice. I'm gonna just keep that off. I also like to attach the size guide. Even if I have a separate size guide, I just like to have it on my product area so that I know what the sizes are and I can make my own size guide if I want to. And choose imperial or metric for the size guide. And then you can add some tags if you want to. If that's just for your own internal store organization. And publish your product so this product will be visible in my online store. I do want that. And I don't have any collections on this that I can choose here, and that's okay, because I can do that all in Shopify as well. So next, proceed to pricing. So as of now, we will make $2 if someone purchases this hat. And if you recall, shipping was over $2. So we definitely want to have a higher revenue here. So I'm gonna set my revenue to, let's say $12. So that would mean the hat would need to be $31.45. So this is something that you'll need to decide what's going to make sense for your business if you need higher or lower revenue um, and how much someone's going to pay for the product. So I'm going to make it, because I feel like that's a weird number, I'm just going to make it $32 and then the revenue is $12.55. So submit to store. So now we can come back over to our Shopify store, go to products, and your new product will be there. 
So here it is. If it's not there, try refreshing. And now we can click on it and make our addi additional adjustments. So here's our title. We can You can edit your description, which I strongly suggest doing. You can add your size guide separately on another page or have a pop-up size guide. Here's your product category. Make sure you fill that in. So I'm just going to type in hat and that's a category. So that works. Product type hat. So you can organize your product as you need to. If you're not sure how to do all this, I do have a full video tutorial of adding a new product to your Shopify store. So check that out. Okay. So I'm going to click save and preview and we can see what it looks like. So now here is our product that is available for purchase on our Shopify store. And in your Shopify product dashboard, you can see down here, the location is printful. So when someone orders this, since it's all synced together, your order will go to printful and printful will send this product to your customer. That part is really cool and you're done. So it's pretty easy technically to add a product to print on demand and sync it with your Shopify store. The hard part is deciding what products to sell, what designs to put on them, pricing and marketing. If you want to learn even more about print on demand, make sure you sign up for my upcoming free launch lab live session. Every month I explore a new topic and we do a live training session about that topic. And this month for May, 2023, it's all about print on demand. And if you're watching this after May, 2023, you can still sign up for the launch lab and see what we're talking about this month. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to keep learning about ways to grow your product-based business online.